What is up, Pam Squad? Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good. In this video, we're gonna react to some women which are joining the military. It's finally time that women get to join the military. A new bill before Congress would require young women for the first time to register for the draft just like young men. What? The Senate Armed Services Committee advancing a bill that, if signed into law, would require young women for the first time to register for the draft at 18, just like their dads and brothers. Mm -hmm. Please show me hands down. No. Taser, taser, taser. Ah! 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 in the 21st century where men and women are to be considered equal then we have to be considered equal on all fronts if it was uh, a draft that included young men and young women that seems appropriate and fair i think that's fair i do i think i and women are being included in every honestly do they really think it's fair or are they just capping right now because it seems like they're capping hopefully we don't end up in a situation where we ever need the draft again Ladies 18 to 26, hope you're ready to get drafted. It is not just the bull. No, I can tell you right now you don't want me. Take one look at me. You think I can defend our country? I can barely defend myself in an argument. Why do women need That's true. She's right there. She can barely defend herself. If you can't defend yourself, how are you going to be able to defend the country? So that is a great point. And it's good that she's at least honest about it. The best way to survive in life is to know your strengths and know your weaknesses. If you know that you're weak in a certain department, you can at least work on it. She's correct about this 100%. When we had to be in the kitchen, no voting, no working, no rights. I'm fine with that. And now she's fine to go back in the kitchen and doing all of that. I don't need a man. I said this in the previous video before. When it comes to war and things which are more physical, men are more physical than women. Or I'll be in the kitchen making Pookie a sandwich until he gets back. I'm cool with that. Drafted into what, my guy? <laughs> argue with someone without crying. I'm gonna show up in my Ugg slippers. My Stanley Cup with my Dyson Airwrap. I hope my acrylic nails don't fall. Who do you think you're talking to? We're literally all mentally ill. Just qualified. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, no, sounds like fun. I should Wait, this, they should not be disqualified. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about equality. We're talking about equal pay. We're talking about everything should be equal across the board. I think it's great that the discussion has been brought forth and that they're trying to implement it right now. I should be free, but I did have a few quick questions before I committed to anything for sure. I'm not ready right now. I was gonna, I just went to my shower and washed my hair, but well, I'm know where it is. And if I'm feeling up for it, maybe I can meet you. Uh, the they send you Jesus. to the uber feminists out there i can meet you at the battle you know i just need to get my hair done and put on some makeup and and do all of that get prepare myself before i go into battle that's hilarious man these these tiktokers some of them are just if you say that little susie over there who weighs 90 pounds or 110 pounds is just as good as bob who's six feet tall and weighs 220 and she can do everything he can do and there's no difference uh saying that well there's no reason why they can't be in combat i had an exchange with a senator when i testified before the senate armed services committee airland subcommittee and he said well colonel mcgregor i don't hear you mention women on the battlefield very much are you you opposed to to women in combat i said yes sir he said well why is that I said 5,000 years of recorded military history. <laughs> you can imagine that didn't go over very well. The ones who are like, women can do anything. Yeah, I'm, I can do everything a man can do. Of course. Okay, well, had to open your big trap. Now women might be drafted in the military. And you can't even complain about it because you wanted this. You wanted equality for all. I don't want to be drafted. You did this. Damn it. Ladies, you better be ready for this. Because I had to pay my first husband alimony. Okay? Equality. We won. We did it. Everything we, we marched for, we got it. You oh, go fight for my right God. to pay alimony. Because I'm married again. And he's a lot younger than me and super mm. hot. You get ready to go get drafted. Yeah. And I'm going to sit here and wait for my husband. And hope he doesn't leave me and take everything I have. Women shouldn't be in the military. Well, 
in combat. For the first time in history, women may be included in any future military <laughs> draft. What's actually- Right, I'm so happy to see most of these feminists, like the world is just crashing down because they're thinking, I can, I can be a man, I can do whatever a man can do. And then it's like, okay, yeah, well, join the military. Now it's like, uh, do I do I really want to join the military or maybe can we can we take this next week or maybe let's just have a discussion about it I mean cooking and cleaning is not that bad now that I think of it. It's like nah 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 We open Pandora's box and now it has to be equal across the board And I'm should you should we also no, force women? Why? No, because why? I don't believe that women are as capable in that capacity when it comes to physical strength mm -hmm when it comes to other components of what needs to happen physically to be in the military mm -hmm. on the front lines, most times I don't think they're gonna be the best candidate for that job. Mm -hmm. So I, when I talk about military, it's not about woke for me. It's not about this gender and that gender. It's not about, it's not about that. I want my military to be as best as it can be. Mm -hmm. And Honestly, if you really took all the wokeness out of that, nine out of 10 times, that's going to be a healthy, robust young man. Look, in the interest of freedom, anyone who wants to join the military should be able to, provided they can meet the criteria and the standards. But when do we get to stop pretending that men and women are physically equal? They literally put Ted Cruz's quote about how women should never be in a circumstance to face hand-to-hand -hand combat with a man, as if he's wrong. And before this reaches the side of TikTok that shares a collective 15 brain cells, and my comment section is filled with, this is what you wanted, no. If that's the generation you're drafting, we might as well all just pre-plan our funerals. You're better off sending out Gen X women than Gen Z men. This next generation is coming up, and I don't, I don't mean to smash all of them, but they seem like a bunch of pussies to me. <laughs> So when a young bitch is getting the comments, I'm like, you're 27 year old, baby, you finna go to war. <laughs> Bro, what are they going to do without TikTok? Honestly, what are they going to be TikToking at war? I just don't understand. I thought only men got drafted. That used to be the case. Now it's men and women who claim they don't need no man. I don't think I've ever used the words, I don't need no Here's man. Here's 11 screenshots of tweets in which you've used the phrase, I don't need no man. Okay, but I didn't mean any of that. I was just making jokes. I'm a comedian. I'm a female comedian? That's an oxymoron, isn't it? Because comedian implies funny and women aren't funny. Does that? bother you? Nope. Because it would for sure bother a feminist. And of course, if I find out that you're a feminist, well, then I'm going to have to draft you. So, what's it going to be? It doesn't bother me. Prove it. What? I want to hear you say women aren't funny. I'm not going to. Of course, if you don't say it, then I'm going to have to assume you're a feminist and, well, then you're going to get drafted. Women aren't... <sighs> women aren't funny. Oh, well, my apologies, ma'am. You clearly aren't a feminist. Now, also, is your husband around? Hey, what's going on here? Robert, congratulations. You've been drafted to find World War III. I just have to ask you this one question. Are you gay? Because we don't allow gay people in the military, and well, if you are, then you'd be exempt. Yes. Prove it. <laughs> oh my god. I think men are better than women. What? She's kidding. No. no, I'm not. They provide for us, and we must obey them because they oh are our masters. God. April, stop it. Leslie, you'll never land a bow with that domineering tone. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it'd be more dead women than it is the dead men, personally. Because, first of all, they gotta carry a whole bunch of heavy... But that's also a serious question. Is it more dangerous having women in war or not? Leave it in the comment section. A whole bunch of heavy equipment and stuff. Mm. I just don't think we would be able to handle it. We came to a college campus and we wanted to ask people what they thought, whether this was about equality or whether it could have a negative impact on women in service. Absolutely. I'm okay. all for women empowerment. I think that that is good. I think that if women want to serve in combat, they should be able to. It's been shown that a small woman can carry a large man. There's different techniques to do, for doing it and it, size isn't the only thing that matters. And, yeah. Okay. Same opportunities. All men are supposed to sign up for selective services. Should women have to do the same? If, um, yeah, I mean, I Maybe think so. You see, the thing that they should do is they should go there, they should ask them, and then they should have like a paper where they just like, since you think it's okay, why don't you sign up? I think it's very easy to talk, but I don't think that there's going to be a lot of women which actually sign up for the draft and volunteer to, to go out to war. I, if, if we're going to institute a draft, then 
Yeah, eligibility should, should apply to both sexes. Fair is fair. Of course, that wouldn't be ideal, being a girl myself, but, you know, if you want equality, then you're going to get it. We protect our country by uh, doing things like raising our children. Even way back in history, like the male's role to go out to war, and then we leave the women and children here to, you know, stay in the civilian life. I guess. <laughs> women are super important. We need mothers to take care of the kids. During World War One, World War Two, you had a lot of men which disappeared, and all the women actually took care of everything at home so i uh, i don't think that this is a good idea on paper it doesn't seem like a good idea but who knows i might be wrong they might be all amazon warriors like wonder woman i don't think a lot i don't think some women are capable of it there are probably a lot of men who aren't capable of it <laughs> i think more of women though keep telling yourself that darling the women who actually go into the army are the women who want to fight. They know what they're getting into. But to have to sign up for like the draft or whatever, like other women may not want to have the same kind of dedication to it. That's true, but I mean, equality. You know, if I have to do it, you should have to do it too. <laughs> yeah, right? basically. Eh? Yeah. Flashback. Should women be drafted for war? Wow, that's too tough for me. <laughs> Sure, yeah. This country. Yeah. I think so. I get it. It's a joke, and we're joking around, laughing around. But this is maybe the stupidest idea that we have ever had. Because it's good to have a conversation and to sit at the dinner table and say, "Who is better, Floyd Mayweather or a, I don't know, a female boxer?" But a female boxer, you know, you can have those conversations. But when it really comes to it, and you put them in the ring. There's, there's no competition. Well, good morning. You know, we spent several days uh, in the California desert back in March watching this experiment, talking to the men and women who volunteered, and now the results are in. And for those arguing that women should be able to perform all the same combat jobs as the men, the news is discouraging. It was as close to war as you could get. An unprecedented scientific study. Men and women enlisted Marines side by side for months of simulated battle. Six. And throughout, researchers watched and recorded their performance to help determine what impact women would have on combat. Even then, the women realized they were at a disadvantage. It's not that we can't carry the weight, we can carry the weight, but it's the pace, uh, especially when we're matched up with the males. You're looking at our size, and we have males that are almost six foot with longer strides and it's hard to catch up with them and keep up with them. Uh, I think it might put a stop to it, maybe. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, do I want to be drafted? <laughs> drafted to <laughs> Not the me. last one. Not for me. No, no for you. Justin, Senate panel votes to make women register for the draft and then this uh, feminist up here is like, that's enough equality for today. I just want to laugh at some of the things <laughs> for a second. You down here that said, uh, who wanted this? Uh, y'all did. Mm. Y'all screamed equality. Mm. This is kind of True. what it comes with. I'm not saying you guys shouldn't be equal. Mm. Y'all should just expect this since everything is supposed to be leveled now. Yeah. You got this wonderful woman down here saying the thing about me is I will get pregnant. And uh, that just lets you know how far y'all are willing to go. Y'all are willing to birth life that you may or may not want then go to war. This woman down here saying my feminism ends here, I'm afraid. That's all it takes, huh? You got this woman down here saying my place is in the kitchen, not the Middle East. Oh, <laughs> work, work, now, now y'all want to be in the kitchen. Before, this was so misogynistic. Oh, you're such a misogynist. Like this, this was what Tate was talking about, like just some few weeks ago. Like we're talking about Tate, he got arrested because of all of this, right? And now women are like, no, 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 we ain't doing that. We ain't going to war. The U.S. has the largest military in the entire world, whatever. There's over a million active duty military members in the U.S. And also it's what we put most of our money into. So if we got to the point that we had to draft women, it would be such a satisfying thing for me to turn to every man in my life and be like, you're a loser. An absolute disappointment. Oh my God, this is humiliating for you guys. You know this. You know what's so funny? This fat girl would never make it in war. She would be the first one to die. What are you gonna do without your cupcakes? Honestly, if you can't lose fat at home, how are you gonna do it for the military? People like this just bother me. Honestly, you men are disgraced. That's these. These are people which are actually keeping your country safe and you're sitting and insulting them. This is the one thing you said you have. All those World War II edits I saw on TikTok 
What, do you want me to mow the lawn for you now? She's a fruitcake, this one. Oh, should I clear out the gutters? You are useless. Useless. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the comments on this post did not disappoint. Girl, I used my period to get out of PE. I'm not fighting in a war. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Same. I'm a talker. If I get oh captured, I'm spilling all the tea yeah. and drawing this for them. Leave true, me alone. True. We're not even thinking about if they get captured. So you take this question. Should mm -hmm. women be sent into combat? Mm -hmm. And I just simply ask if you take the whole of what the Bible teaches about what God designed men and women to be, mm -hmm. does that make sense? I mean, when you take what the Bible teaches about masculinity, what the Bible teaches about femininity, what the Bible teaches about Adam's first responsibility and Eve's first responsibility, and then mm -hmm. you move forward from Genesis through the rest of the book, and you look at, the, at what is the focus of men, what is the focus of women, how the family is structured, how the church is structured, and then you ask, should we be sending our daughters and our mothers and our wives out to defend us mm. in combat? For me, it's an easy question. Mm -hmm. The answer is no. Oh, people felt like this country was worth fighting for. The government wouldn't need to draft people. I mean, we all know this, but you know, why can't we talk about our feelings instead of fighting? Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone's so mm -hmm. excited. Do the uniforms have pockets? Because see what I'm saying. <laughs> see what I'm saying. Do they think I'm above getting dishonorably? <laughs> My knees hurt when it rains, sorry. <laughs> it's funny. It's good My mom said I can't go if there'll be boys. Ay, 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 ay. Does crazy. anyone know if tanks have an ox? I just can't imagine doing war without the right thing. I'm telling you, bro. I have an appointment that <laughs> Sounds like I'm having a baby. Good luck to them. I am completely useless in the outdoors. I'm running too much. Gives me <laughs> Same girl, same. I cried when I saw a dead bunny and they showed <laughs> Jesus. There's no equality in men and women in the military. I'm sorry. No matter how hard we want to make it cool, we want to be woke, we want to treat men and women the same, we're not the same. But what about like we're not the, the, just, gay just, men? Like, are they considered they're, still they're, leadership roles even though they have more of a feminine They're more feminine. feminine. Side? They're more feminine. No, they joined that other team. So you think that, do you think gay people should not be in the military don't make me don't don't make me don't make me go there don't make me go there all i'm gonna say is that women are not the same as men in the military they're not strong they're fit and fit let's just take physical stature yes i know there's women who buff up and do all that they are rare and you guys know what i'm saying is true you don't have to agree you don't have to say it but you know what i'm saying is true if you're on the front lines and we have to get you know men out of there quickly who is going to be more capable of lifting men and taking them out? Me or you? Or, a gay or you? Guy. Or a gay guy? But anyway, to sum it all up, guys, everybody plays the tough guy to ship up off. What do you guys think about women being drafted into the military? Do you think it's a good idea or do you think that maybe we should just leave them at home in the kitchen and let them do what they're supposed to do? Leave it in the comment section. Tell me what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>